So they're going to use Lugia to make the world more oceany, and then they're going to bring in Kyogre. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Panda. Today we are playing some more of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. And today we are going to continue on after that crazy episode in the hospital. We got a brand new Delta Pokemon and we got to, what else? We got to see some crazy human slash Pokemon combination fusion thing. So make sure you guys go check that out in the last episode so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But we have to make our way to Route 10, I think, Route 10. But before we do that, let me go ahead and show you guys our team. So, in the last episode, I asked if we should replace Sprinkles or not. But I realized that I didn't go through my TMs yet. So I went ahead and added some interesting moves to Sprinkles here, along with some of the rest of the team. So, Sprinkles now hat is level 61, holding the Rocky Helmet with Work Up, Dazzling Gleam, Play Rough, and Incinerate. We have Rushmore level 60 with the Hardstone, Power Gem, Stealth Rock, Headbutt, Rock Slide. Ivy with the Charcoal level 60 with Nasty Plot, Sludge Bomb, Will-O-Wisp, and Flamethrower. We have Demix at level 61, holding the Sea Incense with Psy Shock, Water Spout, Charge Beam, Brine. And we have Anubis, the MVP of the Gym Battle at level 62 with the King's Rock with Force Palm, Dragon Pulse, Power Up Punch, and Metal Claw. And we have Lorax at level 59 holding the Leftovers with Grassy Terrain, Rototiller, Razor Leaf, and Earthquake. I'm really hoping we can maybe get like a Razor, not a Razor Leaf, but a, instead of Razor Leaf, we get um, Leaf Blade or something, something a little bit stronger on the offensive side, because look at that offensive stat. That's massive. So, you know, it'd be pretty nice if we could increase that a little bit so let's see where are we we're at route 10 that does mean we get a brand new encounter and there are trainers here so let's just grab an encounter first i think oh okay looks like we're battling this guy first which is all right let's see so we got ourselves a gentleman here so he's gonna give us lots of money i like lots of money i he's level 52 so being around level 60, I feel pretty confident about this. So our attack does go down, which is a problem because we are mainly offensive. Um, this might be a problem here with Lorax out here. So let's go ahead and switch into Rushmore. So we get that super effective rock type damage on this flying, top, flying type chat up. It goes for Roost. Not really that big of a deal. It's going to be raining this entire route, it looks like. So let's just go for a Rock Slide. This goes for Feather Dance. All right. So Rock Slide probably won't KO here. It does. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, what else do you have, Mr. Gentleman? Uh, it's got a Jinx. Okay. So we're not ground type, so we can stay in. And a Power Gem should just KO the Jinx, right? It's got Ring Out. Okay, not not too bad. Alright, didn't KO, but that's fine. We can just uh, go for Power Gem again. Finish it off. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Trainer gone, right? No more? Do you have another one? No, you don't. Alright, so we get some nice Poke Dollars here. Almost 4,000 there. And let's see, what is our encounter going to be? It is... An Azumarill. Okay. So we face an Azumarill at the gym. And it wasn't like crazy good. But I, I feel like it, it could be pretty good. Um, Ooh, is Razor Leaf going to KO? Let's go for Earthquake. It's not Stab and everything like that. It got a crit on the superpower. Okay. It's defense just went down. So th that's a problem there. Earthquake might KO now. Earthquake does not. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start throwing Pokeballs here. Um, let's start off with just a regular Pokeball. Let's see if a regular Pokeball can catch this thing. It probably can, right? You got one shake, two shake, three shake. Oh my god, come on. Those are double edge. So it has recoil moves, which we have to be worried about wary about yeah so let's go ahead and then let's throw a great ball maybe 
We're just going to keep going up in the Pokeball rankings here. So let's see, we're going with the Great Ball here, and we've got one Shake, two Shake, three Shake. Oh my god, again, three Shakes, and then breaks out. Okay, we got to be real serious here now. Okay, because not only are we low on HP, but this thing's going to go down to its own double edge if it goes for double edge again. So let's just go for the Ultra Ball here. Ultra Ball is the best Pokeball we've got. Let's just go ahead and throw it, come on. I really want this Azumarill. One, two, three shakes. We got it. We got the Azumarill. So let me come up with a nickname for a male Azumarill. All right, so we're not going to go with anything creative here, but we got Bubbles. I don't know. That's what I came up with. That's all I got. Bubbles. All right, so that was our encounter. So let me go ahead and then finish off the rest of the route and see what else is here. Okay, guys, so I see a little hidden grotto over here. I'm not sure if there's a Delta Pokemon in here, but let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and save outside of here and see maybe if we can get one or not. Um, I'll go through a few encounters unless I see something crazy. So nothing too crazy here so far, but I'll keep, I'll keep, uh, you know, resetting, see if I can get myself a Delta Pokemon because I did make this rule back uh, like two episodes ago about the Hidden Grotto. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back and see that episode and then you guys will understand what i'm about to do all right guys so i've been doing this for a little bit now and i don't think there is a delta pokemon here otherwise i would have found it by now it's been quite a bit and okay so our encounter will be turtwig that's fine i have yet to see a turtwig in here but i've i saw three other pokemon it was a Honedge, a fampy and a chespin so i know there's only four pokemon in a grotto so Seeing Turtwig means that there is no Delta Pokemon. But let's go ahead and grab this Turtwig. And um, we can continue on from there. Alright, we got ourselves a Turtwig here. And uh, let me think of a name for a female Turtwig. Once again here, guys, not that great of a name, but we got Shelly here. Yep, nickname game today is not on point. Not as good as it usually is. But that's fine. We can go ahead and continue on Route 10. Alright, so we just completed Route 10. And now we're on this long waterway. Not sure where we're going. Um, let's go to the side, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is all blocked off. So they're basically wanting us to go straight. This isn't a new route, technically. So I don't get an encounter. This is still considered Route 10, I think. I think so um i'm not gonna catch this thing oh my god okay fine you know what whatever its speed is up we're not gonna be able to pass it or whatever we're not gonna be able to run so let's just go ahead oh okay we're just let's just go for the razor leaf come on just one shot it's very nice good job okay so i think we're just meant to keep going forward right are we supposed to have dive yet? Because this, this looks like a dive area. Okay, we found the top of something that we can't necessarily go to yet. Oh my god, these Pokemon. So annoying. Alright, so we know Lorax can't run. Let's just go for the Razor Leaf. Finish it off quickly. Let's do this. Alright, there goes the Wingle. Gain a little bit of XP. That's great. But where is this leading? Okay, so we found... Oh my god, right when we're right next to the dock-ish thing. Man, okay. So we still gotta fight this thing. Go for Razor Leaf. Alright, come on. Okay, we get the one shot. Let me, let me just get on shore, please. Okay, we're on shore. So there's nothing off to the side though. That's interesting. Okay, let's just continue on then. Kepler City. All right. It's a new city, new town. Um, let me go ahead and heal up and then I can go ahead and explore the town a little bit. Oh, okay. So this Voltorb is holding an electric gem. Okay, electric gem. Pretty nice. So it seems like this place is very technologically advanced and it's probably going to be a 
and there is a gym here and it's steel and electric based off of what all these people are saying so we're not going to take on the gym today most likely because we don't really have time for that but i'm going to finish con exploring the rest of this town and then see where we have to go after this wow okay so this poke this uh obama snow is holding a tm it's hail okay um i don't see us using a hail team anytime soon but uh you know, could could come in handy. And this guy wants to trade Pokemon. Beldum? Yeah, no, okay. We're only trading for Deltas now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this guy calls himself the Ancient Guardian of the Legendary HM Surf. Only ones with this move will be able to move across large bodies of water. Dot, dot, dot. You already have an item for that? Are you serious? I had this whole speech prepared and you know what? Just take the thing. I don't even care anymore. Okay, so it gives us Surf for free. I mean, sure, it's, that, that's cool, I guess. I mean, we don't really need Surf. Surf is still a strong move, no doubt about it. But yeah, we had the Lapras thing, so Surf isn't really that big of a deal anymore. So I've basically explored the whole area, except for this dude. Like he just tells me that this is her secret lab, the gym leader's secret lab, so I can't go through. But there is one building right here next to the gym that looks important, so I didn't go in it yet. Right, this thing looks pretty important, so let's go in it. And what is this place? Talk to me. Anastasia is a great scientist, but she's also s always so busy. In between being a gym leader and a researcher and an engineer, it's amazing she has any free time at all. Okay. This is an observatory of Kepler City. Using our telescopes, we can record the traje trajectory of different celestial bodies. The back room is absolutely off limits though. Only Anastasia and the two of us are allowed back there. So basically, we're gonna go through here. Oh, okay. Oof. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. One moment, please. Oh, is this the gym leader lady? Okay. Dr. Wrights? Let me guess, so this one is Dr. Wrights because she's on the left. And the guy on the right is Dr. Lefts, because he's on the right. I'm calling it right now. The telescope is completely fine. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a white glare in the middle of the image. It's clearly broken somehow. In the astronomy world, writes, we call that a star. That's not what that... We'll talk about this later. Oh, man, this scientist sucks if she thinks a star is a broken piece of glass on the telescope. Wow, okay. If you spent less time on the project of yours and more actually research rights, I said later. And don't f forget that that project of mine is what's funding us in the first place. Anyways, how can I help you? Dot dot dot. Oh, so you're a challenger. Nice to meet you. I'm Anastasia. I run the gym here. My gym is based around machines and I specialize in both electric and steel types. I'd be glad to take you on. Dot dot dot. Harmony told, me, told you to warn me about the perfection cult? One of their lackeys might be coming after me? I see. Thanks for letting me know, but I don't, but I don't. But you don't need to worry. Let's just get going. I'm pretty busy at the moment. The sooner we can get this battle done, the better. Okay, but I'm still gonna go into this room. I can't go into the room. No. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, she's out here. All right. What? All right. There's water everywhere. All of a sudden, the weather wasn't like this when I went into the building. This can't possibly be natural. But what kind of machine possibly could have created this? Not a machine, Anastasia. A Pokemon. Who's that? Oh, it's, of course. It's Audrey, the Abyssal Cult Lady. And, yeah, the Lugia. Oh my god, of course. How have you been, Anastasia? Alive. The world is changing. Our plan has officially been put into action. This storm is only the beginning. Soon, my Lugia storm will flood the entire world. I thought your group worshipped Kyogre. Oh, we do, believe me, but Kyogre's true value is only revealed in specific circumstances. These conditions are being created as we speak. Oh, okay, so they're going to use Lugia to make the world more oceany, and then they're going to bring in Kyogre to finish it off. Okay, got it. And since leaders like you are too busy trying to save citizens, we can't be stopped. Tell me, Anastasia, have you ever heard of some kind of fear? What is it? Thalassophobia? It describes mankind's innate fear of the deep, deep ocean. And soon, very soon, we'll be reminded of where it came from. Well, that's fantastic. The worst part is, she's right. I can't stop her. I need to protect people from the floods. But you, 
I'm not going to ask you to fight her. I can't ask some something like that of a kid. But if you could take this and could and find someone who could, I'd greatly appreciate it. Obtain the scuba gear. Alright. If she has Kyogre, then she might she must be in a deep part of the ocean, and the only place like that around here is Maelstrom 9. That scuba gear will let you dive down there. If the Abyssal Cult is putting their plans into action, then now is the best time to end them. That's how it works in the movies, right? Okay, so it looks like we've been tasked with going further than this city first, and then we can come back and, you know, continue on our route. Maelstrom 9, wherever that is. I have no clue. But... I think this is where we're going to end off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I know this was a little bit of a shorter episode, but I don't think it's time to continue on with the story because you know, it's been about 20 minutes or so, and I don't want this episode going on for like 40 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.